Hi guys, it's Auntie Cuckoo, and today we are working on our back patio. So after we moved in, we did a few things, but for the most part, this space has been somewhat neglected. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like before, and then we'll get into the work of transforming it. So no judgment. We're about to have a storm. Um, spring break's been happening. And this is what things are looking like. We did have a tree sort of break off during our last frost and it's sitting here. I was thinking about kind of doing a DIY on it, but not sure that's gonna happen. We started staining the railing and it stopped right there. Our umbrella um, in the winds last night ended up down there. Now our grass is finally growing back after the freeze. Our little avocado tree over there did not make it, sadly. The others are doing fine. Our peach tree is coming along as well as our pomegranate and lemon. Um, but I've got some soil in that tub and some pots that I am getting ready to fill for spring. This is a whole mess over here with our good old mosquito killer. And um, last summer, um, well actually in fall, my husband got a smoker last two years ago. I got this sectional from Walmart and I got it on clearance. It, I think was like $2.99 on clearance and normally like $1,000. The problem is when we entertain, there is no seating out here and often the teenagers and their friends come out here. So I'd really like for them to have a proper space to sit down and have dinner because also my son likes to transform this and take the table and make it into an ottoman and then no one can really ever get to the sofa. So it's not working for us. Um, the cushions get super dirty with the dog and I'm just thinking that this space can look a whole lot better. So let's get started on transforming our back patio. So the first thing I started on was the railing. While it had started to be stained, it had already kind of been too weathered. We waited kind of too long after moving in to do it. So there was some splintering. So I decided to go ahead and give it a good sanding and I used Rust-Oleum Stain and Poly. If I had to do it over again, and I'm sure I'm going to have to at some point, I would do the stain separate from the poly. I thought that was gonna be a great product. I bought it as soon as we moved in, and that's how long this project has been waiting on me to tackle it, but I don't think it gave the best coverage because the poly is mixed in with the stain. If you have experience with outdoor decking and staining it, let me know down below in the comments because that is something new to me. We just had cement or grass outside, so I'm trying to figure all this out, and I know that it's gonna be a yearly maintenance issue. I also wanted to add lights to this section, but I didn't want to have cords, so I had picked up some, I think a year ago, from Ross that we're gonna be putting along this section once it is dried, and we're gonna get into potting a few plants. Fingers crossed, nothing dies out here this summer.
So you probably were able to see the new furniture outside while I was hooking up our mini little fire pit. I'm hoping to use that this summer for roasting marshmallows, maybe just a nice little fire out there. It's just a tabletop item I picked up on clearance from Walmart and I knew I wanted to do a dining space like I had told you and Costway had reached out to me and wanted to work with me and so they actually sent me two benches and a dining table. It's it's a beautiful acacia wood so they actually have a website you may be familiar with it it's costway.com I'll have it down below in the description they also sell all of their items at both a storefront on Amazon and at Walmart and so after the furniture was assembled we were able to put everything out here and out with the old, in with the new, after waiting for the weather to cooperate for quite some time. I am really happy with how everything turned out. I just wanted it to feel really clean, really easy to get out there and just let the kids have some time together. I am so happy I finally 90% finished all this railing. There is some downstairs I'll have to get more stain for, but I have everything sort of organized and in place. My husband's got all of his smoking grill items in this little chest and he was able to hang a hook down underneath our deck so that we could hang our bug zapper <laughs> and that has helped quite a bit. I also love having these little solar lights along the railing and I love the table. It's gorgeous. The wood was prettier in person when it arrived. I do like having the benches to go with the table because you can scoot them in and it just makes it a lot easier to walk around the table if I'm just out there cleaning. And then having the two extra chairs 
are perfect because we can pull them up on either side of the table and then seat a few more people or we can just leave them over there and it's an additional seating location out here we've actually already been able to hang some shades that we picked up at costco i was able to finally plant some of my blueberries and i'm not sure how this lavender is loving it here i might have to move it it might just be a little bit too hot i need to pot that basil but i wanted to share this with you guys and sometimes not every makeover has to be completely jaw dropping we still have plans to hang our tv out here but it's definitely making me a whole lot happier than it was before it was a little too chaotic and not usable space i just want to thank costway for partnering with me i love our new patio furniture it is going to get so much use this summer and i hope you guys enjoyed this simple transformation and i'll see you back very soon mm -hmm.